young man, he probably was like, who is this old lady stalking me? But I didn't care because I told you I had to meet you. And I'm so proud. And I had to get you here. And I love you. So I'm going to turn the mic over to Demetrius Wyatt, who can tell you about himself and what he does. And what he doesn't do. Blessings, blessings. It's a blessing and an honor to be here tonight. Um, shout out to everybody that's in the, in the building tonight. Give a round of applause to yourself. Everybody looks amazing tonight. So, September is Sickle Timber. That's what we call it. That's what we call it, September. It's Sickle Timber. From here until beyond. I am Demetrius Wine. I'm a sickle cell patient, advocate, 
and I am my own doctor. But yeah, that's me in a nutshell, man. I love sickle cell. I've been living with sickle cell my whole life, and I've had a real battle with sickle cell. Uh, I'm a man that had prior prison at the age of 15 years of age, and uh, it changed me drastically. I had two major penile prosthesis surgeries, and I advocate for it because I know how how um, how uh, severe and how, how painful it is and how dreadful it is and how much it can play on the mental of young men. So I wanted to change the narrative, share my story. I have a documentary about my surgeries and how long I was in the hospital. It's on my YouTube page. It's called A Day in the Life of a Sickle Cell Soldier Prior Prison Edition. And it's just very educational, it's informative. It shows you what I went through, my struggles, my triumphs, me just praying, just having faith, believing that um, everything was going to be okay. And, and that's my message. Just to know, just just to just to have a winter spirit and a winter mentality. I'm a supernatural soldier, and I know that I'm different, and I stand out. And we all are that with sickle cell. Every last one of us who have sickle cell, we are that. We're supernatural. I'm gonna do a performance. I'm a music artist. I share my art and my story through music. Um, it's been my therapy. I never spoke with a counselor. I never had no um, no uh, no no therapy sessions. But music has been there for me. So I, I, I go to music and I write out my life story. And it, I want sickle cell to sound cool, sound good to young men. And when they hear it, they're like, oh man, this sounds good. I can live with this. And we want to give you a shout out. And we want you to know that we're behind you. You got us. You got us. So I don't know where you say that. These are the people that we're fighting for. Because we're going to get through this because I got you. And if I got you, you got me. And if you got me, we got them. So we, wanna, we just want to thank you all for these warriors being able to come here and they're not sick and in the hospital. And by the grace of God, we say thank you. about 26, 27, I had to have both of my hips replaced because the sickle cell was starting to damage my joints, my hips. We call that avascular necrosis or ABN. Um, after I had the surgery, I continued to work for a while and I realized that that's not where I'm supposed to be. I would sit at that job and think about how much of an asset I would be to the sickle cell community than where I was working. So in 2016, I left that job to take care of my mom for one, to put my health, that's for one, to put my health first and put my extra time into volunteering for the sickle cell community and building on my advocacy resume. So, I'm a Tula Tyler, which affectionately is known as Tully. She is currently a freshman at Oglethorpe University in Brookhaven, Georgia, where she's majoring in biology. She realized she wanted to become a neurosurgeon in the fourth grade because she was fascinated with the brain and wanted to learn more about it. 
But what pushed her even more were her two younger sisters that also lived with sickle cell. Her middle sister, Deej, had a stroke at seven and had to undergo brain surgery. And her baby sister, Hajar, had scoliosis. Tully has served as a youth commissioner in Clayton County, Georgia, is a national sickle cell disease advocate, and one third of the inspiration behind MTS Sickle Cell Foundation, a national nonprofit organization that works to raise awareness, sensitivity, and support surrounding sickle cell disease. So Tully, can you come up please? You are more than deserving, Tully. Her major is marketing management, and in her free time, she enjoys spending time with friends and family and doing makeup. She also has sickle cell SS disease. On behalf of the Maxine Bridges Jackson Academic Scholarship, the Lockhart Morgan Foundation recognizes Kyla as this year's scholarship recipient. Good evening, I'm Crystal Jackson, Maxine's middle daughter. And one of her <clears throat> favorite poems was, Don't Quit. Um, Don't Quit was one of my mother's favorite poems. She loved hearing my oldest daughters recite it. She demonstrated this life message of courage and strength before us every day. One of her greatest attributes was given to others. In her, in her cherished memory, our family has established this memorial. <laughs> this award is first to honor God, secondly to maintain the standard of excellence she has always strived for. Based on the scripture, Jeremiah 29 and 11, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, it is the foundation for the vision of this elastic gift to spiritually and financially assist Christian college-bound high school seniors in moving to the next level of their education. In acknowledgement of her academic achievement, it is therefore my pleasure to present to Kaya the Maxine Bridges Jackson Academic Scholarship. So first of all, I want to thank you for trusting me with your baby and allowing me to take over. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna make you cry, don't cry, because you mess up. But when trusted me enough, I don't think we circle the whole thing, but yeah, <laughs> trusted me enough to take over her baby. She's been doing this for 15 years. No way, we gotta have it, we need this. But let me just switch it up a little bit, just a little bit. You know me. So, she said, we're not gonna honor anybody this year. I said, okay. Yes, we are. We're gonna honor you. This is for you. 